we were very fortunate that I got to watch those. But then, I don't know, every maybe every six months, twice a year, um, you know, we'd get uh, basically what, what becomes the NWA. We got Mid-South that we'd come through Pine Bluff, Arkansas at the convention center. And, uh, you know, my first, I, I can remember the, the moment that I just went, oh, I've got to do this. And it was at a live show in Pine Bluff at the Pine Bluff Convention Center. And I, you know, I, I probably can't remember the whole card. I can remember bits and pieces. I, it, it, it's become like a running joke with my friends and I. But one of the matches was uh, Hacksaw Butch Reed uh, against Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And it was a coal miner's glove on a pole match, which put anything on a pole. And apparently it's a, it's a more dangerous weapon, but it makes for a better match. And then the big thing at the end, the main event that night, was Andre the Giant against Ken Patera. And like I can still envision it. And I've actually got, I've actually had the chance to go back and main event in that building. And I had told that story and the the, the manager of that building has become a friend of mine through wrestling. And he took me down underneath um underneath the stairways and he pointed and there was this what we called a kettle light. Um the kettle light is what you you hung one light above the ring, and it had that old school look, which was the ring cast in light and then dark all the way around. Mm. And, and he pointed at that and he said, that's the light that you're talking about. So in this match, the end of the match, Andre the Giant picks up Ken Patera to body slam him. And, and I guarantee you that this was an accident. There's no way it was planned. But when he picked him up, he was he's so large that, his, that Ken Patera's feet hit that light. And it starts swinging back and forth, and he body slams him and pins him. And I, it was like, I don't know, it was like angels or a choir singing in my head. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I have to do that. Um, it stuck with you forever right there. Oh, absolutely. And it's, you know, now now let's let's review that. I'm never going to be so big that I can actually re relive that. But at whatever age that was, and I don't know, 11, 12, 13 years old, whatever it was, um, I slid into the ring after the show when nobody was looking and I stood on the second rope and I raised my, you know, raised my hand and yeah, it absolutely has stuck with me my whole life.